Hey YouTubers, Rival X Factor, and time for the next episode of Control Freak, where today's guest of honor is the MP7 Hipfire Death Machine. This is a gun you do not have to go ADS on. All right, and there's a couple of facts that we need to get out of the way. First, it shoots 950 rounds a minute. Second, the max damage is only 20. Most assault guns shoot 25. But because it shoots 950 rounds a minute, what happens if I told you it had an almost identical time to kill as the M416 up to 20 meters? Would you believe me? Well, guess what it does. The 950 rounds a minute makes a huge difference. So there's, difference. So there's a couple of things to know. This is not a long-range gun. This is not a gun where you want to get in a firefight with, uh, from here to up in the house. It's just painful, okay? But where does this gun shine? Anything close quarters, anything up close. And the laser sight is the preferred attachment for this, and make sure you have extended mags. And the reason why is watch this bloom. Watch my crosshair. doesn't really expand out that much, and the second I stop shooting the crosshair reduces to a minimum. So you can literally, not quite mag dump, but listen to how, how I fire. Okay. So this is one of those guns where you can mag dump 10 round bursts up close all day. Or if there's three or four guys clustered together, you just drop the hammer. And you're going to see me doing that in the footage coming up quite a few different times. So at medium range, what do I recommend? Well, this tree is kind of at long range for this gun. Small burst, five to seven. A quick reset, then do it again. All right, because you have to control that bloom. So let's get to the footage. All right, so we got some in-game footage. Let's listen and look at the crosshair. Every time I stop shooting, the crosshair goes to a minimum. Hear those micro stops? That's to get my crosshair to a minimum, because those are some medium range kills, and that's what's about this gun. Controlling that cone of fire, keeping it to a minimum, because that's the pro to this gun. At this point, right here, you can mag dump. These guys are in your wheelhouse. Never let off the trigger at that range. So when at medium range, you have to give some necessary pauses every 5 to 10 bullets. But the second you let off, start shooting again, you will have the tightest cone of fire. And that's what it's about. Keeping that good kit strong. Because if you play within the confines of what this weapon's meant to do, it can be a beast kit. If you try to ask too much of it, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a guy at 40 meters with an assault rifle, PKP, or any other gun in the game, pretty much, you're going to lose that battle nine times out of ten, no matter how good your aim is. Their extended mags help me eke out another kill. That is, that's very important to have for this kit, is the extended mags, because without it, you're lucky if you get two kills. That's a long-range kill. He might have been hurt. And here's a ten-bullet dump. At that range, just 10 bullets into them, don't even let off the trigger. The only time you want to let off the trigger is if there are two targets and you have to switch at that very point in time. You need that slight pause to reduce that cone of fire. Because again, it's the first five bullets at that range, those, that's 100 damage. So why not put five bullets right on target? Again, this gun only hits for 20 up close. So why not control that cone of fire and just gib somebody? And what does gib mean? It means destroy them instantly, basically. Shred them apart. So keep that in mind when you play this kit. Look at that crosshair while you're shooting it. What is that crosshair doing? Is it too big? Is that why I'm missing my shots? Don't let this kit frustrate you. Uh, it, it doesn't have that steep of a learning curve, but as long as you figure out the crosshair and you watch it and you listen to your shot, you do very well. That's a long range kill for this kit. Did you hear the bursting? Quicker bursting. There's probably one, two, three, four, four micro bursts in that in that little round. And here's a nice little pick shot. Two guys there. Micro bursting again. And that's the power of this gun. The quick reset of the cone of fire. Now I'm out of ammo. Get out trusty Mr. Magnum. He's been so good to me this round. And oh, what do you know? He's a support kit. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. And one last spray. Now look at me just hip fire. My cone of fire is big because I'm suppressed. Uh, and I'm moving side to side. It's bigger. But guess what? 
The MP7, with the ability to hit fire, allowed me to pick a couple extra kills. That made me last. Most guns I wouldn't have been able to do that with. So that was a strength right there. Hopefully you guys get this kit a try. Hopefully it goes into your stable of cars or stable of horses. Here I'm shooting through walls. I think I go on a little rampage with like 5% hit points here. But uh, I love this kit. This is one of my favorite kits to use along with the AS Val, uh, the AEK. You know, this is, this is up there. This is one of my top kits. So as always, thanks for watching YouTube. Thanks for supporting me. And I hope you become a control freak with the MP7 with laser sight. Take care, YouTube. And as always, thanks for watching.